What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. What's up everybody? Welcome to Charleston Car Videos. So today I'm here at the Ford store, Ravenel Ford, and uh, while walking through some of the new trucks out here on the lot, because I just love Ford trucks, I wanted to show you all these new F-250s in 2017. I noticed a few things on them that seem to be a little different than previous older models, so I just wanted to point out some stuff with you. So stay tuned over the next few minutes while we look at the F-250s. All right, first off, look at the front end on the F-250. I mean, this vehicle says, man, I'm one good looking truck. I mean, this truck has got it going on. Look at that. I mean, if that's not a gorgeous piece of machinery that Ford has put out. I mean, these have got to be some of the best looking trucks on the road today. I mean, there's a reason Ford's got on these window stickers, 40 years top selling truck. I mean, because look at it, my goodness, what a massive, beautiful truck. I think that picture right there is going to be the thumbnail for this video. Woo, look at that. I mean, your headlights, they're massive in size. I mean, that's got that's my hand right there. I mean, we could double up on that. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but look at that. I mean, that's got to be at least two feet right there, just the height. And then your Ford logo, look at that. I mean, that's a massive logo on the front. And then you got your Super Duty right there. One thing I've noticed is the font has changed. So the font has changed. And what I mean by font, if any of y'all know, I mean the, the wording, the font has changed a little bit. Looks a little sportier than what the F-250 Super Duty logo used to be. So front end's looking good. And you know, look, look at this. I mean, there's a white one right there. White looks nice too. But it seems like they've kind of changed up the, uh, just the way the body is kind of shaped and molded, which looks nice. That sounds like aircraft grade aluminum, so it's got to be lightweight and strong, right? There's your wheels. Those look good, so some new upgraded rims. And uh, for a painted wheel, look at all those pretty metallics in there. If you can see that, kind of zoom in a little bit. I mean, it's, got a, it's definitely got a glimmer to it, so that looks good. And then your suspension under there looks good. Man, I like that red uh, boot over that, that shock, if that's what that is. Massive springs, F-250 XLT. This is new, okay? So again, like I said, the font looks like it's changed. Take a look at that, Power Stroke Turbo Diesel. I mean, it's got a, a italics to it now, kind of a slant, which looks nice. Um, you know, the price, I won't get too crazy into it, but Ravenel Ford does these stickers on here. I don't see any other Ford stores around the country doing a sticker like this, but they straight up break it down. I mean, 59 one was the original retail price. It drops all the way down with the rebates and the 98 over and all that, the 56258 So that's pretty good right there. Um, let's take a look in the back. Again, FX4 off-road package on it. What a gorgeous day today. It's March towards the end of the month. We got about a week left in the month, but the weather is nice. I mean, it's in the 70s. Just the perfect day to film truck videos. Even the back bumper looks different. You'll notice right here how that kind of jets down a little bit. Again, gives it an aggressive look. Look back here, let's get under and take a look at our shocks. I have a wide angle camera lens, so I can't zoom in a lot, but we'll go, that's about the max I can zoom in right there and then I can kind of move in a little more. There's your undercarriage suspension. There's your spare tire right there. There's your exhaust pipes. It's a gorgeous truck, wow. This is nice, let's zoom back out. So beautiful. I'm not gonna get on the interior right now, but um, I'm just kind of browsing through the exterior of some of these trucks. So the FX4, you can definitely tell it's higher up off the ground than this F250 right here. If you do want to see interior shots and all that, just go on my channel and type in 2017 F-250. I'm sure some stuff will pull up. But what a beautiful truck right here at Ravenel Ford. Also, this is kind of cool. Backup camera there. Let's see if anything has changed. I do notice they don't have the little bar there and the step anymore, which I love that feature. It made it easy to get into the back. I'm sure your F-150's got it still. But we got a bunch of F-250's on ground out here. About to end this video here in just a second, but thank you for watching. Before we go, 
hit that subscribe button on YouTube. You know, if you're new to the channel, or maybe you have been watching some of the videos and you just haven't subscribed, please hit that button for me, folks. I really do need your help. I need subscribers. I'm trying to get my videos to pop up more on the searches out there and uh, so I can get more views and, hey, make a little extra few bucks in my pocket doing it, right? That's what it's all about, folks, doing something that you love and making a little money off of it, right? I mean, so that's, that's what I do. I love doing car video walk-arounds and stuff like that, and uh, that's why we're out here today doing them on this beautiful, gorgeous day. But anyways, over 2,600 videos on Charleston Car Videos. 2,600, folks. It started back in 2011, and literally on the homepage of the YouTube channel, you could go on our little search bar there and type in any maker model, you'll find a video of it with me doing a little review and for sale video. So every vehicle that I film is always for sale for the most part. I mean, there is some really cool, fun videos that I do from time to time, but all the walk-arounds and reviews, they're all for sale. And it's one of the only YouTube channels in the country that does used cars, used trucks, okay? You're gonna find tons of channels out there doing new vehicles, which is great, but I get into the nitty gritty used vehicles because I believe, cold heartedly, I believe this, okay? I mean, this is why I started doing these videos when I was a car salesman, you know, seven, eight years ago. I believe that a person should be able to see a vehicle on video and have somebody doing commentary talking about it and letting you know if it's got a dent ding or scratch or something like that so i think it's so important and customers bought cars from me many a times off of the web from watching my videos so it can help you out if you're a car salesperson doing these videos look at that look at that what a cool shot look how lined up they got it. 